Hi everybody, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty where we women over 50 use great skincare, makeup, and health and fitness to look and feel our best. Now, today I'm taking you with me as I get my brows laminated. Lamination is a great way to take thin, skimpy brows and make them fluffy, black Instagram brows. But before I get into that, here is my outfit of the day. And all details of my clothing and jewelry are listed below the video. But first, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and or give this video a thumbs up if you're also a 50 plus beauty. Okay, let's get into this. Now, I had never heard of brow lamination before I went to this new brow salon maybe about six months ago and I was having my brows tweezed or waxed there and I had a terrible situation there and I'll link that video below. I would not like to go through that one again, but while I was there, my brow lady recommended brow lamination and that is a technique where they basically give your brows a perm and make them stand up. So if your brows are kind of sparse and thin, it can make them look a lot more full just instantly after you leave the salon, you do look like you have those more Instagram type brows. And I'll be showing you every step of that visit, but stick around to the end of the video where I'll be showing you my at home solution for brow lamination. And instead of costing maybe $90 per visit, it will only cost you about six or $7 per visit. I'll also be sharing some of my best brow products that have taken my brows from thin to thick. I actually had the lamination done a couple of months ago, but I'll take you back so you can see the entire process. Okay, I am on my way to get my brows laminated. This is something I didn't even know about at all until the last time I went to the brow salon. I changed brow salons to a salon called Parlor, the Parlor in Wichita. So what we're doing is um, very similar to a lash lift and tint where you perm, and I say that with quotations uh -huh. <laughs> because we're not quite using the same solution, but perm the hair into place with the lash lift where it curls up into place. So what we do is we chemically straighten and fix the hairs into place. So that pretty much what you can do is you can brush through them. They can go in any direction and you can fill in those spots where the hairs weren't quite sitting before. Mine are laminated, correct? Yes, they're very bushy looking. Yes, yeah, so that's kind of the look that they do you can kind of see mine kind of brush in any direction i want yes, them to so because of that not so spiky. correct yes um, i think it's good for anybody who's looking to kind of either a test out whether or not they're looking for a bigger bowler fuller brow like if they're considering possibly getting microblading the other people i suggest it for are anybody who's looking to um, give themselves a sleeker look or who has like has trouble brushing their brows into place every day and this is an oil-free cleanser really good for the skin and shouldn't have any reaction. Okay. So okay. I'm just using a little bit of adhesive to brush them upwards to make sure we get that straight look that we're looking for. Do some people do this instead of getting microblade? I do. So I have a couple of bald spots mm -hmm. and because I laminate them, I'm able to brush my hairs over the bald spots. So this is what's going to straighten the hairs. Okay. So this first process is really going to make them, hopefully by the, the time we're done with this, what's going to end up happening is we'll be able to brush through them really easily, things like that, and then I'll put the fixing solution on afterwards to keep them there. So this toughness, this resistance in this area that you see with your brows when you brush them through right here, mm -hmm. that should go a lot smoother after this process. Oh, good. Okay, this has been on for eight minutes with this ran wrap, and Heather is taking it off. The first thing that we're going to do is we need to take off this solution and then we need to add the fixing solution. So that's what we did in the first step was soften them up and then I'm going to put them into the position that they're looking for and then we'll fix them into that okay. spot. That's when it'll look more like what it's supposed to. Okay. How's everything feeling? Okay. Feels good. Okay. Uh, one of the biggest things with these is we don't want to over process your eyebrows so it's really important that we remove all of the solution through all every single so see you had a couple that were resistant here mm -hmm. right in there if you end up over processing the hairs they become very crunchy and very hard just like if you over process a um, perm okay and we don't want that to happen to your we brows the goal is to get them to be soft
just feels normal. Awesome. What are you doing now? All right, so we are we're removing the last piece of saran wrap so we can take your keratin treatment off, and then we're just going to fix you up and let you get out the door. All righty. Really do like the way this looks. Okay. Please try not to use any self tanner or makeup or anything in the area for the next 24 hours. Okay. No water. If you can avoid water for 48 hours on the brow area, that okay. would be even better because they would probably take to the lift even more. Okay. They're so much nicer though, if you can tell. I can. Wow, this looks so cool. You like it? Yeah. They look. I try not to do it too dramatic for you. Yeah. No, that's good. Just a little. Just and then you know, if you like them and you want to go thicker next time, we can go a little thicker next time. Okay, that was a look at my brow lamination visit, and I love the results. In fact, I mentioned to you that was about three months ago when I did that. It took me a long time to get this video up. And since that time, I actually went in six weeks later for one more lamination visit, but I experienced the same thing I experienced when I did that brow waxing, and that is that even though I had stopped using tretinoin before the lamination, the lady who did the lamination, it was actually a different lady than the one that I had in the first video there. Basically, I think she left the solution on too long and I got a terrible brow abrasion, just a horrible loss of skin over one brow. I was afraid it would scar. It did not scar, but it made me a little leery to have anyone in a salon do that service on me again because I know how sensitive my skin is and I know to be careful and not slop a harsh solution onto my skin. So I went to Amazon and did some research and I found this little brow lift kit. And it's by Ariana and it is super, super highly rated. I think it got over a thousand reviews, all of them four stars and great pictures. I ordered this one, but then I realized when I went back through this morning, I have not opened it so I can return it. And I'm going to be returning this in favor of another kit by the same Ariana maker. And actually she developed this during COVID. She's a famous brow person in New York City. And so she thought during COVID, you know, how can I serve people? And she said, hey, I'll just make this an at-home kit. But she offers this version of the kit for about $29, but she offers a second version of the kit that I am actually going to return this, and I just ordered the second version, and here it is. It is called the Ariana New York Brow Lift Kit Pro Series, and you see it has one, two, and three, the three separate procedures that you do. And with her kit, you only have to do the lamination once and the saran wrap once, so it's a lot easier. And there is a video right there on Amazon you can watch to see the process, and it looks very simple. This kit actually has all three steps in separate little boxes, and there are actually five kits in this set for the $29.99 or $30. So basically every kit costs just over $5. And as you can see, they also have the little brow spoolies and the little brow brushes. It has everything you need to laminate your brows at home. And if you would like me to make a video about my results laminating my brows at home, I would love to do that because I did just order the kit. And let me read you a review of a wonderful young lady who really liked this kit. She says, excellent kit. My daughter gives this product 10 out of 10. Extremely happy with the results. Very easy to use. We watched several YouTube videos. Takes about 20 minutes to do. The glue was gentle on the skin and seemed to give some protection. The brows look fuller and feathered beautifully. I recommend you go for the minimum amount of time for the first time. She even got me to try it out. Works great on man brows too. It's COVID, no rules. Well, there were rules during COVID, that's for sure. But I'm glad to know she had a great result, as did more than a thousand people on the Amazon website reviewing that product. So I'm very excited about that. Now, real quickly, let me show you some of my other brow boosting products. The first and the one I love the most is this Rapid Brow. And I did a video about this earlier in my channel, and I'll link it there or there. But you can see my before and after pictures of using this. There is the title there, Rapid Brow, and it really does work. When I came to YouTube five years ago, I had very sparse thin brows. And now I've gone to two brow ladies in the past maybe three weeks, and they both said, wow, you have a lot of brow hair. And I really, really do. And I totally credit it to Rapid Brow. 
And it is not the least expensive product or the most expensive. It's a good middle of the road product, but it really does grow your brow hairs. And for my lashes, I'm using the Grand Lash MD, and I think it's doing a great job of lengthening my lashes. I just use one little line of this on the top of each eyelash every single night. Now, in terms of filling in my grays, I don't really have sparse places, except I did fill in the tails a little bit because they need a little more length than they have. But what I have, unfortunately, is gray brow hairs. And if you're a blonde, you know how difficult it is to deal with gray hairs in your eyebrows. And that is because when you go for a professional brow tint, they really can't dye those gray hairs. Now, if you have dark hair, their tint does work for dark brows, but it's really not that effective on gray hair in blonde browed people. So I basically use these little Revlon sticks. One has a little triangular tip and the other has a totally thin tip. Look at that great triangular tip. That is a very good size for covering up your grays. And if you just need to cover up some sparse areas, there is the fine tip version of that. And that's very helpful if you want to just fill in a tail a little bit. Let me fill that in. <laughs> I guess I didn't need that, but you know how I do. Now, another great lash product is this curved lash comb, and I saw this on Angie of Hot and Flashy, absolutely loved it, and ordered this. I think it's like $5. It's a great way to brush out the clumps in your mascara, and I will tell you, this mascara is a total dud. Do not buy this. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's a L'Oreal brand new mascara called Voluminous Noir Balm. It's got kind of a French-sounding name. And I loved it when the L'Oreal people created Lash Paradise. And so I thought, wow, I'm going to pay $17.99 at Walmart for this. Yes, that's right. Drugstore mascara, $17.99 at Walmart. And I kind of thought, well, it's so expensive, it must be wonderful. And it really wasn't. And you might be looking at my lashes thinking, well, Beth, your lashes look really good right now. And they really do. I applied this, looked in the camera and said, oh my gosh, you can hardly tell I have lashes. So I went in with my absolute favorite. And these are a drugstore primer and mascara. And this is the Morphe primer. It comes out blue, but you just put it on your lashes before your mascara and it looks blue right there. It doesn't look so blue when you put it on your lashes. I don't know why they don't make it black. But anyway, this stuff is the best primer I have ever used to help my lashes look longer and thicker. And then I got the mascara, the Make It Big Mascara in a travel size. And I liked it so much that I also bought it in the full size. I think this is $10. I'm not sure about the little travel size. And I think this Morphe Lash Primer may be $12. But to me, these Morphe Lash products are some of the best I have ever used. Okay, that was a look at my brow adventure. And again, let me know if you'd like me to show you the home lamination kit in a YouTube video. I would be glad to do that. And if you're also interested in great anti-aging tips, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and or give this video a thumbs up. That would help me and I would really appreciate it. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And today I'm not going to be reading from my cards. Today is actually Easter here in Wichita. Actually, it's Easter everywhere. But my husband and I went to church at 8 o'clock this morning, early church, and there really weren't very many people there at all, which I was amazed at. Then we tried to go to our favorite restaurant and we looked online and it was a two and a half hour wait. So we did not go there. We just went to Village Inn and it was very, very pleasant. And basically, as my husband turned into the restaurant parking lot, he says, I'm going to take that corner park right there. And he started to turn and I said, well, let me go and I'll get a booth. He always drops me off and I go in to try to get us a booth. Well, I went ahead and I got a booth, which was wonderful. And then it took him kind of a long time to come in. And I'm kind of like, well, where were you? And he's like, oh, this son of a gun guy just turned right in and took the parking place that I was going to take. And then he cut off this other woman too. And he was really mad about it. And my husband, Alan, is very calm and things don't generally make him mad. And I said, well, is he in here? And he pointed over to this man and I'll show you this man. And I'm only showing this to you because he has sunglasses on and so you can't tell who he is. I would not expose him in that way. And there he was sitting alone at a booth on Easter morning all by himself. And then I said to Alan, well, you really don't know what his circumstance is, but somehow on Easter morning, he has ended up all alone at a restaurant booth all by himself. And I said, I don't know if he had a sad, lonely life and that led to him being kind of mean and nasty and not giving towards other people 
or if he was not giving towards other people, he was selfish, he would like cut in line and grab a parking place from someone else, or if he was a very selfish person and never really gave and he wasn't generous towards others and he ended up with no one in his life. And I don't know that that is the case, but it did remind me to take a look at myself and look at my own selfishness because I definitely have parts of my life where I'm more selfish than others, but to take an honest look at myself and say, Beth, on this Easter morning, this morning of rebirth, what is it in your personality that perhaps is a little bit selfish that maybe I could ask for God's help in helping me be a more selfless, generous, giving person? Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.